if you're new here welcome to my channel i wanted to come on really quick today really quick because i want to just give a quick update from my last video i also want to thank and welcome all of my new subscribers welcome to you all thank you guys so much for supporting but i wanted to come on and say thank you guys for being so supportive and understanding and just encouraging in my last video when i met my ob a lot of you started following me from that video but you guys were so so encouraging and supportive but i just wanted to come on and let you guys know that i did get a new ob um i did some research all last weekend found a new ob i called the insurance company and got my referral changed to her but it's gonna be about it's gonna be two weeks before i can see her <laughs> so i have a little bit of a wait i am on let me adjust myself i am on cycle day three now i think i'm on cycle day three or four so i will probably be in like ovulation phase before i go see her or around the time that i go and see her so i guess i will be tracking my own ovulation for the month of february just to try it out and see because clearly January was not a success, not a successful month for us trying to conceive. So I'm going to try it my own way for the month of February. One of you guys did mention um, trying the mirror kits, mirror fertility kits. And I, it, it was so funny that comment came in on that day because that earlier that day, I had just remembered that I had it actually just in the closet. I've never used it, never opened it. So I am looking into that to potentially use that, but I'm pretty sure that the sticks that I have are expired. So I'll probably have to order some more, but I'm also looking into like other ovulation fertility kits and stuff like that just to help me track things i use two apps i use ovia and i'm using glow and um that's what i'm doing to track my ovulation or just to track symptoms and stuff like that track my cycles and stuff um so we'll see but i mainly want to come on and let you guys know that i got a new ob i did inform the insurance company of my experience with the other one so hopefully he doesn't have to be referred to anybody else and i still have to go on to google to um post my own review of that doctor because afterwards i did go on facebook and i saw that um you guys know my husband's in the military we live on a military base and we have a family's page for the base and some of the other wives that go or military i don't know if the active duty members see outside doctors i'm not sure but um some of the other women on this base that were assigned to this doctor had posted earlier this year before i even moved to this area um about their experience with this man and they it was like to a t i'll post the screenshot that i took because it was almost to a t like the same experience like feeling brushed off him not listening like just not happy overall with the care and unfortunately that person had to go through their pregnancy with him and he didn't even check up on them postpartum and i was like ding 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 no 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 with my past history with preeclampsy and stuff i do not want that that's why last week was already so triggering for me because I'm already, I already have anxiety built up around trying to conceive and going for number two because of my experience and my recovery with preeclampsia from my first pregnancy. And so to already feel like brushed off and disregarded, like, and not just feeling like my doctor doesn't care how I feel, what I think, because that was one of the big things for me my last pregnancy i was telling my doctor two weeks before i was admitted into the hospital for preterm labor that i was having contractions and she told me oh no you're probably just experienced experiencing braxton hicks they just get a little bit more intense towards end of pregnancy and i let her know that at about 28 29 weeks i let her know like hey 
my Braxton Hicks are changing. They feel more intense. They're coming more regularly. I have to sit down and I'm breathing through them. And I, she, you know, was just kind of brushed off like, oh, that's just another pregnancy symptom. And then two weeks later, I ended up in the hospital in preterm labor, three centimeters dilated. If you've been here, y'all know I went live. That live is still on my channel if you want to see how things were in the moment at that time because I went live from my hospital bed. <laughs> but um, that whole experience, while I love that doctor, there were some things that she missed. Also like some earlier signs with preeclampsia that weren't checked up on either. And then postpartum, when I did let my medical staff know like, hey, I'm having a hard time breathing they were like your vitals are normal and i was like no when i'm standing up next to my son's isolate going from a sitting to standing position i cannot breathe and everything all of my organs inside of my body feel like they weigh 15 pounds each because i pushed that issue with them letting them know like i get it my vitals are normal but i'm telling you something in my body is not right um at like two o'clock in the morning they sent me for x-ray and immediately like moved me over to the intensive care unit because my lungs were filled with fluid and um yeah it was just a very scary time for me and i really because i have my son now i mean even being married i have other things i want to live for okay and i just cannot risk having somebody be so careless and just not listening to me like i'm always going to advocate for myself i'm always going to push the issue for myself i'm always going to ask questions like i come ready and so if you can't work with that then you can't be the doctor for me like ultimately doctors work for you if you are the patient yes it should be a partnership not a dictatorship so i said all that to say i do not have that doctor anymore we have moved on and another update is i've started beach body to keep myself on track with working out and stuff i started beach body i'm doing the 21 day fix and everything is hurting right now but i'm on day four and i'm sleeping better i feel good but my muscles are hurting me a lot <laughs> a lot dion my husband was off from work today so I had a lot of distractions in the house so I couldn't like sit down and record earlier so now I'm trying to like record so I can get something up to you guys for today um, because he just took Lux out tomorrow we're doing a family 5k and I got a new jogging stroller and he's going to put air in the tires for me so that's what's happening at our household I just wanted to come on say thank you to you guys let you guys know where I'm at what's going on with the whole doctor situation and let you guys mostly know i really really do appreciate you because y'all y'all felt where i was coming from i got so many dms about other people's experiences and just how crazy of a time they had when they didn't speak up for themselves we we have to advocate for ourselves lady like ladies it's so important that we advocate for ourselves with these doctors like they work for you you can have opinions about your health care they have to answer your questions and if they don't get rid of them it's over don't even waste your time but yeah i'm glad that that doctor showed me his true colors very early on so we could end that whole thing right away because i would hate to get down the line and he switch up on me but his wife did have like I've, oh that's another thing that you guys don't know I say stuff on Instagram like in the moment Instagram gets like real-time updates so I realized that some of the updates that I was reading this doctor has a wife and some of the updates were for some of the reviews that's what I'm trying to say some of the reviews the good reviews and stuff were for his wife um, even on the Facebook page I told you guys I found a lot of people were saying like oh the wife the wife I had a great experience with the wife was good I love the wife um, the main complaint I seen with his wife is that she has too many patients so it's hard to get into her or it takes too long for her 
to come and get you when you do have an appointment so your time runs longer but that was like the main thing with his wife but his wife had like glowing reviews they people seem to really like her but the main issue that they had was that she doesn't have a lot of time for her patients so um, i think it's just the practice that they're a part of if you're in the memphis area you know moga they have a lot of different branches around this area and they're a part of that um, but i won't be going back to any of the branches anymore i found a whole new women's clinic facility situation so um i think i'm gonna like the doctor she's supposed to be well versed in pcos so we'll see we'll see i go see her in two weeks and i'll give her a try i still have my questions and stuff and um i'm gonna keep my head up and be hopeful but in the meantime i'm gonna do what i can for my fertility which is track my ovulation um since i won't really be under anyone's care around the time that i do ovulate again so we'll see i'm working out i'm drinking my water I'm staying positive and most importantly I'm still living my life because the last time we were trying to conceive I pretty much put everything on hold and that was my main focus was trying to conceive. I didn't want to travel because I didn't want it affecting like my cycles, my fertility treatments and all that stuff and once I actually like said you know what this month we're going out of town we're going to enjoy ourselves i don't even want to think about trying to conceive that was the month that we actually conceived on our own and it was just i never in a million years thought that would be my story after doing fertility treatment fertility treatment fertility treatment fail 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 the month i decided to take a break off be done with it i'm frustrated with the whole thing i just want to live my life i end up with a baby so um yeah that's what happened for us but we'll see we'll see we're gonna take it one month at a time one day at a time i know the baby is coming i just have to be patient and take my time i try not i learned from the last time also not to think too far ahead because then i get caught up in the what ifs what if it doesn't happen what if i have to keep going a few more years and all this stuff if i think too far ahead my mind goes too much and I can't, I can't go there. So I'm going to live this time. I'm going to live my life and let things fall how they fall. So we have started planning our first family trip of 2022. We were supposed to be going to Atlanta right on the first week of the new year. That got canceled. The numbers start going up too high. I can't be bothered with COVID y'all. We haven't had it in our house and I'm not trying to bring it back. We're, we are going to out of town um, where we'll have to be a little bit more cautious of how we're moving and stuff like that um, because we're going to New Orleans and I'm excited. I've never been to New Orleans and I am so, so excited. I was planning on going for my birthday, but we are going in March and I'm excited. I'm excited to go so excited to go so i have my um i have my 2022 travel planner journal thing i got this from target dollar spot for three dollars and i have been writing my notes and creating a vision board and stuff like that and just kind of making a list of things i want to do and see if food i want to try or whatever so if you've been to new orleans and you have some of your favorite restaurants and stuff make sure you leave me them in the comment section down below because i'm ready to eat uh dion is allergic to seafood so he probably won't be able to have any of the seafood stuff he's allergic to shellfish he can have fish um just shellfish he's allergic to so he doesn't eat shrimp and crabs and all that stuff but i do i do so if you have a place i don't eat crab legs but I like seafood. I'm from Florida. So Florida, Virginia Beach. I'm excited though. I'm excited to get back to a place with fresh seafood. <laughs> fresh, fresh out of the ocean seafood. So, oh, before, before I get off, I'll show you guys the mirror test. If you've never seen it, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let me grab it. Okay. So this is mirror. If you've never heard of it, this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if it's backwards or not, but they sent me this when I was pregnant, actually. So I never 
got to use it. I've never, I'm just now opening it. So it's still wrapped up in the original packaging and everything. I'm gonna take this little egg out so you can see the device. So what it comes like, so you can keep in like your nightstand and stuff. And this is what the device looks like. This is what it looks like. And you have little test strips. These are what the test strips look like. And they track your, you stick it in here and it gives you like, I think the numeric version of like what your hormone levels are to let this know, like your LH levels are to let this know if you ovulated or not, if you're coming up on ovulation and it, it they have an app that syncs to your phone. Um, to kind of keep track of everything for you. And I'm pretty sure it makes like a graph or something like that. I haven't downloaded the app or anything. I'm just putting it back. Ooh, my foot is going to sleep. I'll probably get some of the test strips, some new test strips because these expired in December, 2020. And I was sent this like right before I had Lux. Y'all know he came early. So yeah, I have that. I may just start with that. I may even get some of my online ones I used to have just to just to see how all the test strips are reading. Um, but from my understanding, Mira is supposed to be good for women with PCOS. Um, it is expensive, but I'm gonna try it. I'll let you guys know how I like it. I'll let you guys know any other things I'm trying or any other ovulation trackers that I try. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, just so you, if you're interested on how different ones work, I'll try out a different, a few different ones to just let you know, so you guys can see how they compare against each other. Oh, a lot of you guys found me from my, how I met my husband and got married in five months video will be that, uh, <laughs> It's coming up on 10 years since I met my husband. Um, we met on Super Bowl Sunday in 2012. So Super Bowl Sunday, this is Dion's first Super Bowl with Lux too. So I'm gonna put on a little spread for them for Super Bowl, um, just to kind of have some type of a little celebration, but we are going to a nice anniversary dinner. I got some suggestions on steakhouses in the area so that we can have a nice dinner on the actual day. And then, what else? I think that's it. Oh, I'm going to be starting another fitness challenge, even though I'm doing the 21 day fix with Beachbody. Um, at the beginning of the year, if you follow Mommy Nation on Instagram, Mommy Nation, if you follow them on Instagram, they do like fitness challenges at the beginning of the year. And this year, the fitness challenge is going for the month of February. So I got my tea from I got my t-shirt from last year, Fit Mommy Loading. Please wait. <laughs> so I got a couple of them actually, but they'll be starting the next one starting I think February 1st. So I'll probably be doing that challenge too. So I'll probably be in two challenges for the month of February, doing workouts and stuff like that. Just trying to get myself fit because listen, labor is the most physical thing I've ever done with my body. And the next time, I want to feel better. I want to I want to be prepared more. I want to prepare my body for that labor process because listen y'all. Pushing is hard. It is a hard thing. It's so physical. So, and I underestimated that the first time. So, I'm trying to get myself prepared for that for the next one because my baby is coming. Your baby is coming. If you're trying, our babies are coming. Our babies are coming. Our babies are coming. Our babies are coming. So yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to get off because it's gotten long and I wanted this to be a quick video, but thank you guys again so much for supporting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching and encouraging. And um, we're on a journey, y'all. We're on a journey and I want to share as much of it as possible like I did the first time. So until next week, I'm not sure exactly sure what. I'll probably be posting my birth story so I can kind of give you guys more details on like what happened during my birth. But I think I'm gonna have to split it into two parts. 
Um, so I think that'll be coming next week since the following week is when I'll actually go and see my new OB. Um, and then I'll give you guys that update. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.